<laughs> that I just, was how I thought. Yeah, I just feel <laughs> it's disgusting how some people do this. It's, mm. it's just it's insane. It's about the money. I mean, it's a lot of money. Uh, I mean, one rhino horn is worth like one million dollar or more. But what do you what do you do with them? <laughs> like Aren't yeah, you? like a person who buys a rhino horn is like, I got a rhino horn. Yeah. Now what? Yeah. Now what? What do yeah. I do with this? You make a powder of it. That is like some powder that Asians believe exactly cure exactly. like cancer. Yeah. yeah. And it's the or same or as your nails and your hair. So I mean, it's not mm. useful. For Chinese anything. traditional medicine. Yeah. Yeah. And they do that still. Yeah, they yeah. do. Unfortunately. Yeah. And there were uh, some guy in the, in Vietnam. That was actually he was a politician. He went out in the television and said that he was cured from cancer just mm. recently, mm. just a few years ago, mm. uh, from rhino horn. So it absolutely increased. Yeah. yeah, but the middle class is growing a lot. That's why it's increasing yeah. as well. So it's sad. Uh, do you guys work with the people down there? Yeah, we work with a lot of projects. Yes, we actually try to find the heroes working on the hands on the project. Uh, yeah, in Africa. We work in, in uh, basic, mostly we work in South Africa, Botswana, Zimbabwe, and Kenya, Tanzania. Yeah. 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 How do the locals react when you come and, and try to help the wild, the wildlife in yeah in the country that you go to? Yeah, you know the biggest problem in, in let's say Africa is that we need to find a way to get the kids out so they can see wildlife because. I mean, we are going down there, we go to big parks, you see the big five in two days, <laughs> and you think that Africa is full of animals. And the sad thing is actually that the kids in Africa, they have never seen a rhino, because they live in cities. And it's, it's, it costs a lot to go to a, to a park and see uh, wildlife. So, uh, I mean, that's, I think that's super important, because they are the ones who are voting, and so why should they care about the wildlife? Even if they don't even know that it exists. So, uh, yeah, that is something we have to work out. But I mean, uh, we are, everyone is very happy when we come down there. And uh, last year we got some of the people coming up to our goal in Sweden as well. Yeah, yeah. We got the chief prosecutor from Kenya up here. Yeah. Uh, the first lady from Kenya was supposed to be here. Unfortunately, she did not have the possibility. Mm. But uh, we hope that we will have some. Uh, uh, fun people next year yeah, on yeah. the Elephant Gala. And these people you're talking about in Kenya, they are actually they are teaching a lot of kids yeah. and people in the Asia. So to educate them why it's important. So we don't lose our parents. Mm. It would be sad if you are growing up and your kids never see wildlife. Some people think that we are the last generation. But we used to say, I mean, uh, we, now we are talking rhinos and elephants. But I mean, more important is the 999 other species mm -hmm. that are extinct at this moment that will be extinct during this year. Yeah. Approximately a thousand uh, species a year is getting extinct. 99% of these species are because of humans. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they are not rhinos, they are small, small animals that we maybe is more important than elephants and, and rhinos. Mm -hmm. yeah.